today's video, we're going to be installing a leather steering wheel cover to give your car that race feel, you know, just to add a bit more quality to your car. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to start by going to my website, bmacvags.com, and we're going to go into the modification section. The modification section, well, first you're going to go into the shop and then modification section, because that's where we're going to make them available for anyone to buy. Now, I'm going to be sending them worldwide, and I think there will be a black stitching version, so look out for that one. Okay, so now in your car with your standard steering wheel, we're going to start by giving it a clean. Now you can use soapy water or some sort of degreaser. You just want to make your steering wheel clean for this application. Um, like I said, soapy water or, or any sort of degreaser just to make it clean. Now with your steering wheel cover, you need to first stretch it over the steering wheel itself. Might be a little bit tricky, but it is stretchy and it will go over. Now here, this is really about this whole task at this point is just about lining everything up so you want to get everything where it's supposed to be you want to get the um the steering wheel cover in the right location where the stitching will be over the original stitching you want to just get everything in place so it's a little bit of fumbling about but it's really easy you can just move it around with your hand and once you've got it in a position it should look something like this okay so with your thread I guess I've been told the common rule is to use eight times or to use to pull eight times the amount that you're doing. But what I did is just an arm's length and doubled it up because that was manageable for me. Now, if I've got to tell you how to put a thread through your eye, you shouldn't be doing this, a needle, you shouldn't be doing this. But once you've put it through, you need to put a knot in it, a double knot in it. So here we are now. I've picked a location that I can match it up with. This is my first time, so I wasn't 100% sure how to do it, even though I had the instructions, but you're gonna learn from any mistakes that I've made. Now start from a place you can, you know, a location place or something that looks familiar. So I started just before the split there, and I've put the needle, I'm gonna be pushing this um, thread through that hole that's already been made by the original stitching there. Once I push it through there, that's going to be the beginning of my thread. As you can see me just pulling it through there, just making sure it just actually stays there. This is why it's good to do a double knot, just to make sure it doesn't slip through. So, you, you know, when you line up your thread, the first thing you do is a double thread because it makes it, you know, just makes you more sure it's not coming through. Now, once you've started your thread, now this is going to be the beginning of your thread. You want to be going through the loop on the opposite side of the cover. I'm gonna give you a shot here in, in a minute, but this is how it works. You start going through the leather, and then you go to the other side and you actually come through the loop. Now, because I started on the other side, I know exactly that this is the correct loop. So once you've done that, you pull it through. There you go. And this is a good reason why it shouldn't be too long because you will get this tangled up. So make sure it's not too long. And when you're stitching it together, it's actually going over the original stitching. As you can see there, I'm back there now. Now the way you do this is that once you've got it through, you miss the first loop and you go into the loop next to it and you carry on that pan throughout the whole circumference of the steering wheel. I know it still doesn't look like anything yet, but look, here we go. So now we go through one, we miss one. Tighten that up. Yeah, Don't be scared to tighten it up. Don't pull too hard like a madman, but don't be scared to tighten it up. And again, we miss one, go through the back, and there you go. And you just continue the sequence throughout the whole circumference. And like I said, once you get your pattern and once you understand what you're doing, it is really quite enjoyable. Now, one of the mistakes I found quite possible to make on this is that when you're pushing it through the back loop, you can actually go through the center of the thread at the back so make sure you get your needle tucked in underneath it so it actually goes underneath the thread and wrap back round instead of actually through the thread because obviously through it's not going to hold very long because you've got half the amount of thickness to hold on to but it's a very simple you just continue this procedure throughout the whole process of this thing i'm speeding it up here just so you can see how it, how it all comes together there you go now this is it. Like like I said, once you start to once you start to get on this, you you develop a, like a little rhythm, and it really really is quite easy. You just carry on squeezing it, making sure, and it fits very well. 
such a simple mod it's fantastic I, 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 I love the improvement it makes and the feel that it gives you on the steering wheel so like I said you carry it on all the way around like if you if you can see from this I didn't actually go directly into the corners because I'm going to do the corners later um, I do a slightly different sequence there so I'm going to show that to you in a minute so like I said miss one go one miss one go one and here I'm just tightening up any kind of loose threads that might be you know maybe not as tight as they should be and I'm just tightening them up as you would do with shoelaces so here I'm going to show you how to cancel the thread. Now, pretty much like the start, you push it through one of the holes made by the original stitching. See that? Push it through there, drag it back out. And what you do is you create a little loop with the rest of the thread that's behind it. With that loop, you put your needle through it to create a knot. And you make that, you just run that knot all the way down to the end of the thread itself. See that? And that will hold it in there. Now, if you're if you're you know if you're unsure about it, you can always do a double knot, double knots are good, but you know, one will do, you know, it's, it's very much it's very good, it's a very, very good way to do it. So one will do or you could use two. It's really up to you. Okay, so this is the corner which I didn't, which I left because I wasn't really sure how to do it, but now I know. So what we're doing here is we're starting again. So we start by pushing it through a hole that's already been made by a stitch. So we start it, so we push that through. It can be a bit hard because the lever is a little bit thick, but you can get it through. And once you've got it through, you can start to go to work. Now on these particular corners, because I just thought it may need a little bit more support, I didn't go, I didn't miss one. I went through every single loop, every single loop to tighten it up around that corner and really to make it hug because I didn't really want the, the go through one, miss one to have any kind of movement and I wasn't really sure how it was going to pan out. So what I did is I went through every single loop here all the way up to the top to get the best fit proper possible like you don't have to do it this way this is the way I did it and this is you know this is what got me my results so you can do it however you want to do it you can just do it as missing a loop and going through or you could do it this way but I found that this way was just for me mentally just seemed a bit better for me so this is how I did it and once again you can cancel this in the same way that you cancel the other bits when you get to the top, I don't want it. I'm just tucking this in. Yeah, sorry. So yeah, so just tuck it in with whatever you've got there. There you go. Should all fit nice. Just rub it, keep rubbing it. But like I said, you could cancel this the same way you canceled all the other ones, which is by pushing it through a little hole in the back there, creating yourself a loop, and then putting the needle back through it to cancel it. There you go. Make sure it runs all the way down. Excellent. So that is cancelled as well. And it's all tucked in and it's nice and snug. That's what I think the going through the every loop did for me on that end there. Like I said, I always do it twice. I don't know why, but I'm just a bit like that. But yeah, so this is what you're doing. All the time, just be looking at it, touching it, feel it, making sure it's lining up. And while you're stitching, it's not moving anywhere. Okay, so all I'm showing here is pretty much the same of what I've shown you earlier, but just to show you that I went through the whole process. Cut the string, you go again and do the same things with the corners. Go through every loop. Well, this is what I did. I went through every loop just to keep it nice and snug around them areas. And it, do you know what? It looks really good if I'm being honest. Um, but yeah, all the time just feeling it and making sure it's it's in the right place, rub your hands around it and, and just, just just be diligent with it, you know. Now there's plenty, it comes with plenty of thread. The, when you buy this kit, it's supplied with a needle and a thread. It does come in a black colour, but we're still waiting for it. Um, but yeah, that's it really. So you trim off all the ends. Make sure all the leather bits are tucked into where they're meant to be. Press the horn, make sure the horn works. Look what I'm doing, exactly what I'm doing, just do the same thing. 
Make sure everything's tucked in nicely, just to give you the best result proper possible, you know. But when you've got this car, it, it, it feels, when you've got this uh, cover, it makes it feel a lot better. So here's the before and after pictures. Now here's the standard steering wheel as you've got it in your car, as usual. And this is what it looks like when it's done, which I think is much better. I hope you like it. Comment, rate, subscribe. And uh, make a comment in the comment box if I can help you with any questions. Thanks for watching.